Hello, uh, in this video, we'll cover how to use log4j. So using log4j, we'll see uh, how to generate log files. So we'll divide this uh, tutorial into five parts. So we'll see what is log files, then we'll see how to configure this log4j. Then we'll see how to write property file so that we can generate log files how to use that property file and finally check the log files for your test cases okay, so let's talk about what is log file so log files plays an important role in terms of development but here we can also use that log files to check whether we are going right or right or where exactly our test case is failing so take an example you are writing one script of 100 lines okay 100 statements you have so at each step you can put some checkpoint and put some log files so that once you go forward and you can check the log files where exactly you are doing mistake so let's say your login uh, your log file says open application uh, open sign in page type username type password click on sign up button So this is your logs so we'll see this log let's say if in third step you are getting some issue okay so while running your code this log file automatically generated and let's say after third step if your desk is failing it will not generate log file after this so by checking your log file you can share check where exactly you are doing mistake okay. so i will show you the quick demo of this log files for to configure this log files what you need to do you need to simply add one log 4 j jar file okay. so i will show you how you can download this go to google and say download log 4 j okay. so this is the official website it's a product of apache so you can download from itself but um, this is my favorite website java2s.com I always refer this website for downloading jar files so you can see it's showing all the classes available inside this jar file so if you go down if you click on this you will get the jar file so I'm clicking on this see it's giving you an unzip file you can unzip it so you will get one jar file called log4j so once it is downloaded now simply you need to add that jar file into your project okay. so how to add as you all know but as a better practice i will show you right click on a project go to build path and go to configure build path it's already added in my project but i'll show you how to add click on add external jar so this jar file we have downloaded right as a zip format once you unzip you will get this so select this and click on open it's already added here so it will not come again once it is added you can check here in the references library it's coming and if you expand this you can see all these necessary packages are coming here so we'll use some of the packages here so let me create a demo class and say package name is demo3 okay. so once you created this class so what you need to do you need to simply configure this class for logger so we have a class called logger Okay, so you can see I'm getting so many loggers. So you need to take from Apache log 4G and say dot get logger. Okay. So in this you need to specify the class name for which you want the logger. So since we want logger for this class, so I will say get logger and 
I will specify the class name. So it will return me the logger object. Okay. So once it is, you get this logger. Now you can use all the existing methods. And before moving forward, you should know the properties file. So we need to write one property file for log 4 as well. So this is your property file. So I'm not going to explain this log file in detail itself. It will take one hour to explain. So as a broader sense, here we are defining the logger. So we have logger as info, console, R, HTML, TTC. So first you need to define the appender. Okay, so we are defining the appender for console for R, for TTCC and for HTML and this is some predefined package and this is the classes so this will be same for you as well here you need to define the log file location where exactly log file will store so you can see I'm using file 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 here so I'm giving the location in the base directory dot means base directory it will store in your project home directory inside a folder called log and log file will be test log dot log test log one dot log and application dot html you can change it accordingly so two log files you will get and one in a form of html then in third section you need to define the layout as well as the pattern so this is predefined pattern okay you can see for console this is the pattern layout and this is the conversion pattern same for R, same for TTCC and same for HTML. So you can get this uh, property file from my blog. Just go to my blog and uh, find for log4j, you will get this file. So this is simply a notepad. So how you will save this? So simply you need to click on file. Go to save as option. And uh, you need to save as a log4j dot properties by default it's getting stored in txt form so you need to put double quotes here at the starting and end and say log 4 dot property click on save okay it's already there so i'm clicking no so once you will save this property file it will look like uh, this this is my project home directory so in the src my all packages are coming so I stored this log4j property inside my base uh, home directory. If you click on edit, you can see this log file. Is here. So what exactly you need to do? You need to configure this log4j. Okay. For configuring this, we have property configurator. Okay. This is again coming from log4j. You can see this dot configure so it is asking for the property file so our property file is log 4j dot properties we are done now so first you need to get the logger while getting logger you need to get the class name that we given you need to set this uh, like 4j properties file using property configurator now you can generate the log files Okay, so let me show you so for time saving what I will do I will take some previous programs this is my one program where I am simply opening one application I'm handling alert so let me copy paste here the same this is my previous program simply I copy paste today I need to generate the log file so what I will do I will use this logger object and I will say info so what message I will give it will generate in log file let's say Firefox open logger dot info uh, browser maximize like this I can give this so whatever the info I'm using it will be coming in log file application launched ok 
click on search button capture the text this is printing and finally say here accept alert window See if you are confused about my this program, you can refer my previous window, uh, previous YouTube video called How to Handle Al Alert Window. So I copied the same program. I simply added this logger steps here. So now let's run this and see how the properties file works and how this log file will be generated. take some time to open browser my system is slow just opening a browser to maximize and it will pass the URL Click on this search services and alert. This is our desk is done. So you can see here it's giving information on the console as well. Firefox open browser maximum application launch and it's exactly showing which step executing. So it's line number 18, line number 21, 24, 27, like this. And if you go to project home directory, this log, fol log folder has been created and these three files generated. So open one by one. Okay, so this is your same, it's just coming on console, you are getting in log file as well. And if you check here, again one more log file. Now it is coming with a thread as well, okay. Which thread is running? So in our program, it is main thread is handling this program. And third one in the form of HTML, okay. So it's showing at once each step how much time it is taking, which thread is handling which label of logger we are using so it's showing info and if you see here we are using logger.info okay. category your class name what exactly log file firefox open browser maximize application launch and exactly which line so now in this way you can generate log files so in this tutorial we have covered three type of log files so just try from your side only three or four steps you need to remember how to configure download the jar file add into your project write the property file and save it while using you need to simply configure the logger and you can use logger.log and finally check this one. that's all for this if you like this video you can subscribe this channel you can like this video, share it, and if you have any issue, you can visit my blog www.learn-automation where exactly you will get this log4g.property file. Just go and copy paste in a notepad and save this .property file. If you have any issue, please feel free to contact me over email. My email id is mukeshwadwani.50 at gmail.com. Thank you.